This morning, we're getting a look at a possible major change to crash test dummies to accurately reflect the female body. This is a big deal. Mm -hmm. Right now, the dummies are largely designed to replicate only the male body. When a seatbelt is designed to stop the forward momentum of someone's body in a crash, it's designed to stop that by hitting on your bones, which can absorb a good amount of force, right? I don't have the male pelvis that the seatbelt was designed for. So instead of hitting the bone, it slid up and hit my stomach. And that's how it burst my intestine. Wow. Unbelievable. Maria Weston Kuhn was in a serious crash in 2019, and she is now advocating for change. She claims that cars are designed to be safer for men than women because there is no accurate female dummy testing. It seems kind of unbelievable this day and age that we wouldn't have gotten there. Right, yet. exactly. Experts say women have less muscle mass than men. They tend to sit closer to the steering wheel and their legs are often bent at a different angle so that they can reach the pedals. Now, all of that will impact how our bodies would respond in a crash. Now, the largest crash test dummy manufacturer in America, Humanetics, has developed a new female version and they are now trying to get it into government testing right now. This is about our mothers and about our daughters and about our sisters. Every woman getting in a car is at more risk than a man. The National Highway Traffic Safety Administration says they're working with Humanetics on the atomically correct female dummy and they have hopes that it'll be approved by this fall. But it could still take four to five more years until it's mandated in crash tests. You know how the rollouts tend to be slow, yeah. but I mean, progress. I would say progress and why wait for the mandate? That's it. All right. Help